Hello, I'm Kelly Brissabwan from DSDI School of Engineering. I'm the Deputy Director of Studies on the SOFIA campus and today I'm with a couple of our students, Eddie and Carlos, and we're going to talk to them about their admission process and a little bit about their studies now they've started with us. So, we'll start off with, um, how did you find out about DSDI? Well, basically I was uh, looking for programs uh, in Europe and then I started looking to a few, um, in a few countries and then I, uh, when I found a DSDI, I really liked the program. I read through it and then uh, it was a perfect fit for me. So that's basically how I narrowed it out, basically. For me, I was doing a lot of research for really technical in-depth data science programs. Uh, my background's originally in economics and so I knew that I had some skill gaps when it came to math and computer science. And so as I was looking at different programs, it was really a matter of finding one that laid out what the technical path would be. And DSTI uh, does a lot to make sure that, that those technical skills are at the forefront of what is uh, advertised and what we then ultimately study. Perfect, okay. And how did you prepare for your admission process? Was it easy? You know, we can do an entry exam or you can do transcripts, you can submit them to us. How mm -hmm. did you find the process? For me, uh, I thought it was really straightforward. I appreciated that there wasn't uh, a big standardized test that you had to take, so yes. yeah. no GMAT, no GRE. Um, and the admissions exam is a great primer to what we're actually going to be learning in the courses, so it's yes. a good way to really get a sense for the material that you'll be covering in the program you study. Yeah, it was, uh, it was easy as well. Uh, for me, I didn't have to do any entries exam because of my background in computer science. Yeah. So, uh, but I had to translate my uh, my transcripts officially translated. Yeah. But everything was uh, clear, and then uh, it was very smooth the process, and uh, it was uh, quite fast, so I should say. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. And then, how did you prepare for your interview? So, usually we do like an admission interview with students. Did you prepare? Did you? How did you find it? Well. Uh, to prepare for the interview, I uh, basically focused on uh, my previous uh, background education and uh, I was just following uh, with that. And then I also had some questions prepared because I wanted to make sure that the course was uh, fit for me as well. So it was yeah. a both way uh, interview admission process, let's say. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, but in the end, again, was everything was very clear and uh, had all my doubts clarified. And then I got asked a lot of questions, which is good because that shows how serious the program is. And uh, yeah. And for me, I'd say it was really about thinking about the why behind what I was looking for out of the program of studies um, and then making sure that I came into the interview really ready to answer that question as to what I'm hoping to gain from this master's program yeah. um, and why DSTI was a good fit for me in that case. And these are applications, so we both are not from France, so how did you manage that? Was it okay? Was were you well supported by DSTI in the process? Absolutely. The third party provider, Feel Francais, that DSTI works with is extremely useful. Um, they make the entire process really easy with a lot of checklists. Uh, they go through every step of the process one by one. Having done the visa for a uh, study abroad program now twice, um, this time around was significantly easier because of the support that I got from DSTI. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And uh, especially when you move to a new country, there's so many new things you have to do, bureaucracy. And a uh, few Francais, as uh, Eddie said, help us step by step. And also, if you had any doubts, you had a DSTI email and they usually reply very quickly. So it was a very, very smooth process. And usually visa, I've traveled a lot as well, is usually very difficult when it comes to changing country, different rules. Yeah. So uh, you made it very easy. Yeah, okay. That was perfect. really good. So the admission process for both of you has been good. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. And now that you've arrived and you've started your classes, you're both doing a Master of Data Science and AI on our Sophia campus. How do you find it now you're here? I, it's really met the expectations that I had coming in. Um, in terms of the technical skills that I've been gaining, the classes go really in depth and make sure that we are well prepared for the job market and well prepared to actually be working in the field uh, as data scientists. And so uh, for me, it's been really nice to see that the, the promises that were made in the admissions process yes. and in the pre-admissions process um, have really been upheld. Yeah, adding to that, I mean, uh, we have a lot of theory, but then at the same time, we apply the theory that we receive. I focus on a, on a market level, I would say. 
So it's a very good combination of both that, you know, I'm sure it will make you a complete professional. So I'm very happy as well with the, uh, with the approach and how the uh, whole dynamic of the cars work. Okay. Yeah. And we're happy to have you here. Thank you. Happy to be happy here. To be yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for joining us. And thank you, Carlos and Eddie, um, for sharing your experience. See you next time.